What's up, Rebambo? <laughs>we're almost complete we're at our last row and i'm just going to go ahead and crisscross and add the rest of this style like this section them back there's no way you can go wrong as long as you keep on moving backwards okay and we're almost complete we're almost finished i always use jam to section out my hair just to keep it nice and neat if y'all have noticed i always use jam try to do that to keep your work really nice and neat and shiny okay so now we're done um, you know, it came out okay. No, it's not, it wasn't bad at all. My first time doing it and I felt like it was, it was pretty cool. So let's get into this ponytail, shall we? Let's lay these hairs down. I'm using the wax method this time around. Don't ask me why because she is relaxed. So it will be perfectly okay if we use Eco Styling Gel with a little bit of Got To Be Glue on her edges for extra security. But I wanted to see how her hair would do with the wax method. Um, 
But my 4 C girls that have really, really kinky, kinky, curly hair, this method is ideal for y'all. Like the wax stops your hair from curling back up and gets super, super sleek and really, really nice. But let's say you have a looser curl pattern, then you might be able to just you might be able to use the Eco Styling Gel um, too. So it just depends on the style that you have um, and what kind of ponytail you're doing. If it's a curly ponytail and your hair is curly, well then go ahead and use the Eco Styling Gel because you can have waves within your ponytail. But I'm trying to go for the no waves or minimal wave type ponytail. I want it to be sleek. So um, yeah, as of right now, I'm just going ahead and I'm combing the wax in. You can always use some heat to melt the wax down because it's really stiff. So one major key is to go ahead and add some heat to your container, like I did in the beginning of this video, and then you know add some heat to the hair if, while you're brushing it in if it's not sleek enough. Um, so I'm doing the two ponytail method where I put, you know, the top part of the ponytail up first, and then I merge the back part. It's for those who have really, very thick, thick hair, and she has some thick hair, ladies. Her hair is thick, and she's relaxed. Imagine if she was natural. It would be even thicker than what it is right now. Um, though she is relaxed, her hair is still healthy um, because we don't relax her hair bone straight. It still has that wave within her hair. So as long as you, you know, don't over process your hair, then you know it still can keep its integrity and remain healthy. Um, so I'm going in here with the wax and just getting her edges and sleeking it up like so. Um, yeah, honestly, I prefer the Eco Styling Gel when it comes to my girls that are relaxed. I would have preferred for us to just use the Eco Styling Gel for this particular pony. But I'm glad we tried it out to see how it would work. The only reason why I'm not loving it on her was because the Eco Style Gel gets super hard and it's quicker, it's easier. I don't have to add no blow dryer to, you know. But I'm using the Got To Be Blue Gel and my Lock and, what is it called? Lock and Twist Wave Edge Gel for her edges. So I add the edge control first and then I go ahead and follow through with my Got To Be Blue Gel right on top. Now I'm using both because I wanted to freeze that thing in place and I always do both. Like I've been doing it ever since and it just works out so well because it holds. The, the um, edge control sleeks it down but the guys with the gel holds it in place. They work so well together, they're a good team. So now I'm going in with the baby hairs and creating them swirls like so and you know use your hands and create those waves. I can't really explain how to do baby hair, but it's all about manipulating your comb and your hands. It's super, super easy if you can do finger waves, like I said. And that's got to be blue gel on my hand. It's a habit for me to put um, products on my hand. I don't know why I always do it. And that's that. I also find that whenever I add the got to be blue gel, got to be blue gel on top of the pomade, my comb moves easier, it's more sleeker, it's easier to manipulate, you know what I mean? It flows so nicely. So they work really well together um, in all areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and do her edges over here, like so. And for the most part, I mean, I love it. I mean, it came out nice, whether it's wax or eco styling gel, the pony is laid, okay? There are so many ways you can get to your pony, depending on your condition and your texture. So, you got options, ladies, you know. Figure out what works for you, like I say. I'm using these neck strips to hold her, well, to, to lay her edges down, honey. We don't have no silk scarf. I didn't bring it with me. I would prefer to use a silk scarf because you know that got to blue gel and how to stick onto things. But I didn't have a silk scarf, so we gotta just do what we gotta do. So now I'm going, going in to do the pony, which I've been waiting for, the extended ponytail. Now. Her ponytail is super thick. Her hair is just so thick. Last time we tried this style, I promise you the pony was sticking up in the air. So if you have thick hair like hers and you've already tried this ponytail and your ponytail keeps sticking up because her because your pony is so thick, here's a little trick that I'm gonna show y'all. You're gonna go ahead and instead of you're gonna go ahead and roll it into a donut. 
therefore your pony isn't out. It's just going to be the braiding hair that I'm showing you here. So I'm going to take a bit of braiding hair. The length is up to you depending on how long you want your pony to be. And just crochet it within the middle of your, your um, bun. Now if you have thin or fine hair, then there's no need to add this extra step. You can just go ahead and um, add the braiding hair to your ponytail as is. And you go ahead and braid it all the way down, like so. All the way down. I wish I had a video of how a ponytail was sticking up last time we did this because I didn't I didn't put her hair into a bun. It was literally just sticking up. Also, when you use the braiding hair, make sure it's not too thick because that can cause it to stand up as well. You want it to be flexible, so try to use as little as possible, but don't make it too thin because I feel like here it was a little bit too thin. I can make it a little bit thicker, but it still came up nice anyway. As y'all know, the flat iron does um, burn the ends of synthetic hair without a lighter. So we went ahead and burned the ends, still in place. And now I'm going to go ahead and stitch my weft in. I would have preferred to use glue, but at the end of the day, we might want to reuse this hair over and over again. And then the glue can get kind of messy and sticky. And she might want to use it for something else. I don't know. So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and use my needle and thread on top of that because of her thick density I don't believe that me gluing her top bun up there would work out too well anyways so yeah so now I'm going in and wrapping it around stitching it in and then I travel my needle up my pony and then wrap it up and I repeat the same process over and over again I stitch it in again and then travel that needle up my braid and then wrap my hair up so I reach that the next part of my um, thread so it's basically you just wrap the track up you stitch it in place and you travel the needle up and then you wrap the track up I mean you wrap the track up again stitch it travel the needle up it's the same thing over and over again until you reach the top Ugh. It's kind of tiring because it's so long, but I mean, hey, the hair, the pack costs $19.99. It's Milky Way hair, 12 inches, and we made it into a 30 inch pony, so I believe it's well worth it. If you know you don't feel like stitching, be my guest and glue that sucker down if you want to, okay? Use bobby pins if you want to. Just do what works for you, okay? It's not no big deal as long as you get the same results. Um, so I'm just stitching it in place and I travel my needle up. So we're almost at the top now. And I'm wrapping my hair up to catch up to the thread. And so up here is what I'm saying, like to glue that. Well, actually, you know what? You can glue that with these. It's not a big deal. But anyway, I just like using needle and thread because I like to be reusing stuff, honey. And I just don't like glue. Ugh, I just don't like glue at all just my preference so you just stitch it in place and travel the needle up like so and then just keep on stitching till you close 